Hi, this is Monica Burns with Maroli Design Services. This is a tutorial on how to add a team member in TweetDeck um, so that the team member can do tweets for you, schedule tweets, and so forth. Generally, this is used for um, individuals who have a personal assistant and lets the personal assistant do the actual promoting and, and so forth using Twitter. It's very easy to use, or very actually very easy to add someone. As you can see, you have your toolbar here on the side, and what we want to do is expand it so that you can see the various tools a little bit more um, in a wider setting. And under Accounts, if you click on Accounts, it will pull up your actual profile, and on the drop here, you'll want to drop it down so that it exposes all of these menu items. To add a team member, you want to click on the team at Monica Burns. Essentially, it's their way of saying um, this is where you, you sign up your team members. And all you have to do is add someone's Twitter name. Now, my Twitter name for my business is at Morally Designs. So if I had typed all that in, and because Twitter does these auto-fill things, it might just be that it automatically pops up so you can easily select it. But if it doesn't, you just need to make sure that you have the entire Twitter profile name. And so you just click Authorize, and they're added in as a team member, and they're sent a notification that you've given them access to the profile. Now you can change the role. You have Contributor or Admin. The only difference between the two is that as an admin, the admin has the ability to add team members or remove team members. So it's up to you as to what you want to do. For purposes of uh, my actual business, being a contributor is all that I, I really need to do. I don't need to add people um, or remove them unless it's something that we would agree to um, during our consultation. So just going to confirm that as contributor and so let's go and take a look and see what it looks like from the opposite end um, from someone who's actually um, accepting the actual invitation from from you. So we'll click on log out and we're going to log in again. Only we're going to log in as Maroli. And as you can see, we're now in the Maroli profile, Twitter profile, but you can see there's a small number here under accounts. So we're going to open up the account piece and you can see where Monica, my Monica profile, has sent an invitation and I have the ability to accept or decline. And so I'm going to accept and I'm now part of the team and it shows me profile, can go in here and take a look at things. Um, it shows me the list that my author profile has. Um, you know, I have friends, people, um, just various lists. And if I want to tweet, that's very simple. You go up here to new tweet. And as you can see, my current profile, my business profile is actually highlighted and it's automatically defaults to that. But if I click on my author profile, I can turn this one off, and anything, any tweet that I create is only going to be on the Monica Burns um, profile. So let's do a tweet right now. Um, let me see, what, what should we do? Let's add an image and see if we can find something funny. Um, oh, let's see, pardon my, what can we do? Oh, let's do this cutie. He's sort of like, oh, no, that's just so wrong. The dog is, oh, rolling in the mud again. So I have the ability to just click tweet, or I can actually schedule a tweet. And you can see here, if I want to schedule it, say, um, on the 12th at uh, 138. 
click it there, and then I would click Tweak. Now, if I don't want to, I just go here and remove, and I can tweak this right now, which is what I'll do. And voila, it's tweeted on my profile, my author profile, and it's tweeted as me. It's not tweeting, it doesn't show up as uh, Maroli Design Services being the tweeter, it's actually Monica Burns. So that's very, very um, convenient um, and makes makes the opaqueness of it, it makes it look more um, created by the actual individual who owns the profile. So if you have someone who wants to leave the team, very simple, you just click leave this team. And let me go back into my author profile now and show you how to remove someone. It's very simple. It's basically the same way as you uh, set them up. So we'll get back into the profile, go to accounts, and team Monica, and click on the contribute roles and just click remove team member, remove, voila, they're all done. So that's some um, all there is to it on how to add or remove a team member from TweetDeck. And I hope you found this particular video useful. If you would, take a chance and um, visit me at Maroli Design Services. And you can <clears throat> check out my social media plans, newsletter plans. I also have uh, book covers, Facebook ads, graphical pieces that I do. And I hope again this tutorial was um, useful and thanks for watching.